This is Monday, September 14th, and as we talked about on our um, video earlier where we were cooking with honey, in light of it being National Honey Month, we are going to kind of walk you through what happens here at the Nybrayer County Fairgrounds with our honey and our hives. And so yesterday, September 13th, Kelly started the harvest and I'd like you to meet Kelly Chichester. She's our 4-H educator here in Niobrara County and our official beekeeper. The rest of us are just lowly assistants. So Kelly's gonna kind of walk us through what she did yesterday and what she's doing today. All right, so as Denise said, um, yesterday we went ahead and pulled all of our frames and so this is um, one of the frames we pulled, and I had some help yesterday from our beekeeping kids. I had um, Cody and Kelly Taylor and their dad came and helped as well, Jason. So what we are looking for when we are pulling our frames is you can see that this frame is completely capped. And so what we wanna see is there's this nice wax cappings over all of the cells of honey. Um, there's a few that aren't capped and that's because those have got pollen in them. Um, but once they cap them, the bees know that the moisture content is where it needs to be within the hive. And so once we see that, and this is on both sides of our frame, um, this is what we're looking for and this is what we want to pull. If they're not capped, we don't want to pull them because then that um, tells us that that moisture content in the honey may not be where it needs to be and the honey will um, more than likely crystallize faster. Um, not that our honey won't crystallize, uh, but it's all about moisture and those bees are smart enough that when they cap it, they know that it's just where it needs to be. Um, this is what we would call a deep frame, um, typically not used for honey, um, but our bees, once they started um, going through the process of making honey, they really got to cranking and it was in the middle of our COVID isolation shut down um, and the kids weren't able to be in here and I didn't want our bees to run out of room. So I was just putting boxes on as I could. Um, and so they did great work and filled these. So what you would normally see are these shorter, smaller frames. And this is called a super. Um, and you can see where this was stuck to another one. It was all um, nice. And you can see this is not capped yet. And this up here is what is capped. So that's the difference um, between uncapped and capped honey. This side is nicely capped. And you can see that um, down here, they didn't quite get these capped either, um, but the majority of it is all capped right in the center. So once we get our frames in, our next step is that we're gonna use some sort of an uncapping tool and we have got, this is a sticky mess. If you're not into a sticky mess, you probably don't wanna have honeybees. Um, this is our uncapping tool. It just looks like a small little comb. It's got pointed ends on it. And the whole point is just to pop off the top of these wax cappings. And so that's all you do is just lift them up, pop them off, and then it doesn't disturb any of the honey. It's very minimal. We're trying to reduce the amount of wax um, that we have to filter out when we're doing our processing. Um, the less that we have to filter out, the quicker it goes through um, our two filters. And all we're doing when we filter our honey is just straining out any wax, um, any pollen that may go through there. Uh, occasionally we'll have a couple of bee parts. Um, we don't want those to go through there. Um, but we don't, we don't heat our honey at all. Um, so it is raw, it is just filtered. Um, and that, that is the end of it. And this just builds up, pops those off of there. And then once we get this all uncapped, um, we'll go ahead and we'll put it into our um, extractor, which is this machine. And it just works like a um, washing machine where it spins. And as it spins, it just throws the honey to the outside of the drum. It collects, comes down here, and comes out this valve. Um, and that's as simple as it is. And this is the honey that's being filtered right now that Kelly spun out earlier today. You can see if we lift this off of here, um, there's all of our filtered honey in that bucket thus far. So like I said, it's not heated. 
Um, it is still raw. We're just taking out any of the, the large um, particles that you probably don't want. Um, the wax won't hurt anybody. Some people like to have wax in their honey um, and some don't. Um, so that's, that's what we do is a two, two step filter. One is just a little bit bigger than the other. So this one on the top catches the larger pieces and the filter on the bottom is finer and it just catches any smaller, um, more wax pieces at that point. So it's a slow process because um, it's all just gravity and the warmer your room is, the better off um, you're gonna be because the honey will warm up and move through quicker. We've done this in November and it's really a slow, slow process at that point. Um, so where it's a little bit cooler in here today, um, still plenty warm and things are moving as quick as they can. So with that, um, what Kelly will do, can you just put a frame in and show them how it would go in? We aren't ready to spin this frame, but Kelly can show you how she loads them in the extractor. And so ours holds three, um, three of these big frames or six of the small ones. And you can see where it sits in there and the motor will spin it and as it spins, um, at high speed, all of the honey just goes to the outside and then we'll gravity feed down to the bottom through this honey gate and into our filter. Um, halfway through, we'll flip these frames around just to ensure that we get um, the honey out of both sides. And it's kind of a noisy piece of equipment and you have to stand on it to kind of keep it from taking off across the room. So. We won't actually probably show you it spinning because we're not, don't have any room to put any more honey down into the buckets today. So with that, we're gonna sign off for today and the next time Kelly um, has a process with the bees, we will be sure to tune in and let you share in the honey harvest.